Yeah, I'm nervous. It's like I want both of my roommates to come home, but I want everyone else to come home too. Wait, wait. Where? What? What else has happened? Someone's lagging behind. Oh, stop. Oh. Who's on the hot seat? Obviously, I'm not in such a hot mood. I almost got kicked off trying to reinterpret a child's piece of artwork. And my best friend, Toos, got kicked off. Toos, your work of art didn't work for us. It's time for you to go. You know, I've put everything I have into these things, and I'm not cutting any ice. Create your own world. Stop the Star Wars. If I ever see it again, I'm gonna get medieval on you. Duly noted, sir, thank you. I'm from New York, I survive. I'm tough like a cockroach. Uh, I won the kids challenge, and I have immunity, so I feel good. Kimia, you made a true work of art. I'm really excited about Simone auctioning off my piece. Yeah. I really want to so see exciting. that happen. I just feel competitive towards Kimia. I'm annoyed that she won. I really want to win, and both of us can't be there at the end. Suck Lord, I think you ought to do the ceremonial crossing off of T's name. Oh. I'm gonna see you again, buddy. Nine artists remain to compete for a solo show at the world's famous Brooklyn Museum. A cover story in Blue Canvas magazine. And $100,000 furnished by the 2012 Fiat 500. This is Work of Art, the next great artist. Sleepyheads, we have a very invigorating challenge. Good morning. I'm just so annoyed <laughs> because every time Simone comes over, I'm woken up, my eyes are bleary, my face is greasy, my hair is all tangled, and here's Simone in his perfectly crisp three piece suit. Wakey, wakey! <laughs> I knew it. You knew it. Get your stuff ready and we'll meet down in the lobby. Okay. Good morning, Suck Lord. How are you? I'm ready to go, sir. Excellent. That's what I wanted to hear. This better be good. Onwards! <laughs> Let's go see what's in store for us. All ready for the expedition? Yeah. <laughs> I have no idea what the challenge is going to be. All I know is when Simone shows up, something big is going to happen. Can we have some clues, Simone? <laughs> Just have to be open to anything that may happen. Okay. So suspenseful. At least it's daylight now, so we see where we're going. We're going to Staten Island, maybe it's tomorrow. Most of the other people are from New York, so they at least know the neighborhood we're headed toward. I'm from Arkansas. Oh my god. What? The time. Oh. We're going to the press. Ooh, that'd be cool. Yes, let's go to the New York Times building. Uh oh, we're going in, we're going in. We are going in. New York Times. New York Times. Yeah. Uh, welcome to the New York Times. Hi. We've gotten the New York Times delivered to our house for as long as I can remember, and instead of watching cartoons in the morning, my mom would force me to read the front page. So I'm hoping that I don't fail on this challenge that I'm most looking forward to. It's like Willy Wonka's factory. There's gigantic robots walking around by themselves. Oh my god. That's awesome. Your newspaper has so much fun before it gets to you. It's pretty cool, no? All these robots, it's extraordinary. I started my career as a photojournalist, so it's especially interesting for me to see the process in this modernized facility. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to the New York Times. Yay! You all know the phrase, ripped from the headlines. And for this challenge, we are asking you to do just that. Suck Lord, you look deep in thought. I can't phone in another turkey or I'm finished. Suck Lord, use the force. <laughs> I've been forbidden to use the force, so. You will have to find a headline that inspires your next work of art somewhere in these piles of newspapers. <laughs> there should be no shortage of inspiration inside the pages of the New York Times. 
I don't read the paper. I am the worst at being up on current events, and I just am really worried that I'm gonna have to really tap into something political, and that's gonna be pretty limited for me. You will have the next 10 minutes to find the headline that will be the basis for your next work, so choose wisely. Each of you must physically incorporate the newspaper into your piece. Artists, things are going to get tougher and tougher. From now on in this competition, there's going to be no more immunity. <laughs> but there's good news too. The winner of this challenge will receive $20,000. Furnished by Blue Canvas Magazine. And the New York Times are going to exhibit the winning work in their iconic headquarters in Manhattan. Oh my God. What are you talking about? $20,000 make a huge difference for my family. We're just lowly school teachers getting by. Are you ready to make your own headline? Mm -hmm. yes. Your 10 minutes. Starts now. <laughs> See you guys at the gallery. Bye. Thanks. Do I see the front page anywhere? Front pages are over here, guys. Young, how have you been doing? Good, there's too many good stories to choose from. Kimia, what are you thinking of doing? Dozens of officers searched for more human remains this month on the South Shore and for clues to help identify serial killer. Right away, once I see this headline, I'm thinking that I really want to make this coffin sculpture commenting on the way that the serial killer has treated other people's lives. Ah, here we go. You have three minutes left. Everybody's rushing and blah, 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 and scrambling. I'm just like, well, I'm just going to pick up the paper and read it. And there's something about BP finally paying a billion dollars to set things straight in the Gulf after the oil. Spill. I don't have any real personal connection, but I'm definitely excited to try something different. The article I decided to use is about Ai Weiwei, an international artist that's been arrested in China. I think he's one of the most interesting artists living today, and he's been locked away for his beliefs because he's a social activist. So I'm thinking of playing with this idea of disappearance and censorship. Ten seconds remain! <laughs> Just grab it all! Easy there. And that's it. How many do I really need? Time's up, everybody. Oh. Time's up. You will be going to Utrecht Art Supplies, get your papers, and follow me. I do not have a clear idea of what I'm gonna make. This challenge is making me feel really emotional and scared. Lola, oh my God. <laughs> she puts on this persona of this suffering artist. It gets really, really old. I chose this article about a poll that was taken about the state of our economy. It really struck a personal connection because I run into a lot of people that are struggling in Arkansas, but, you know, people have problems all over the country. The article, Darkness Invisible, is about a famous author's descent into madness. I'm cutting up the article into tiny little squares and shifting them so that they'll look jarred and jumbled to reflect this idea of madness. The article I chose is a theater review of Sister Act Two, the musical. My headline is Different Church, More Sequins. I'm making this piece based on my love-hate relationship with organized religion. I found these doors in the wood shop. What I'm thinking is creating these bold, flashy doors that have some sort of sequins on them to represent this aspect of ornamentation in Christianity in order to draw people in and to get people through the doors. The doors seem really cheap. Like someone could just kick through it with one easy, like, blow of the foot. Buy a taste of door snob. Yeah, maybe, I think <laughs> so. Yeah, that's probably it. I'm using bleach to erase the contents of the newspaper so that all of the text has been lifted away. It's all about this idea of censorship the artist Ai Weiwei is facing. <sighs> The bleach process isn't going very well. It's not really affecting the ink very much. The really strong proportions of bleach are just completely dissolving the newspaper. 
I'm very worried this might be the challenge that could send me home. Dang, good plan. Coming up on Work of Art. What have the judges been asking to see from you? They don't want to see literal translations of things. For me, that is pretty literal. I like the challenge to pick a headline from the paper and bring it to life. We also have to figure out how to incorporate the physical newspaper in the piece. The winner is gonna get 20 large and get their piece hung in the New York Times building. So it makes me really wanna do good. Someone's gonna win this 20 grand and they're gonna be like, I feel like a millionaire. <laughs> I would buy a yacht. A yacht? A really cheap yacht. Like one of those. <laughs> it's a discount yacht emporium. It's, it's got a hole maybe in it, but I'll patch it up. I don't think that anybody in this room has ever had $20,000 in their bank account. It's definitely just about as much money as I make in an entire like year of working. I'd buy an exotic pet. <laughs> <laughs> Might as well be a milliner or whatever the word for a weapon maker is. The article I choose is about Libya and how everyone in the rebel army basically has these non-functional weapons. <laughs> Lola is crazy. She's like all over the place. I just think it's really childish. <laughs> I decide to draw, so I'm tracing some of the images and then changing things as I see fit. Can you try to get it so you can see this and this? Mm -hmm. I feel like I'm about to give you a checkup. My headline is from this article about the necessity of proof for an injury or an illness. Last year, I got hit by a car, and I've had to prove my injuries to insurance agents. I've had to prove myself to my employer. Lately, uh, my scars are starting to fade, so I wanted to document the visible aspects of my injuries. Put your head down like you're sad. The headline for my article is A Darkening Mood Across America. I am going to use that idea to make a map of America out of crumpled up newspapers, and within that map, there will be silhouettes. I normally do more positive work, but when it comes to the economy and that, there's no good news in the newspaper. I like how that looks. I almost want them to have, like, the fist up. Yeah, like this. I'm not a black man. It's not just for black people. We don't have a monopoly on fists. Uh, all right. <laughs> I thought maybe you did. <laughs> what do I know? My headline says that police are searching for human remains to catch the serial killer. I want to incorporate the newspaper as texture to like make up an outside of the coffin. And I also want a little hint of a couple body parts sort of sticking out. So I make a cast of my foot and wax. Even if I have immunity, I still want to make a killer piece. No pun intended. I'm trying to convey this idea of censorship about the fact that Ai Weiwei is missing. Painting bleach onto the newspaper completely <laughs> failed, and I decided to create my own headline, which is, where is Ai Weiwei? I feel like that's the main question. So I have these kind of beginning elements of an artwork, but I'm worried about time. <laughs> dealing with a nuclear meltdown in Japan. After the tsunami and the farmers that had to evacuate. She like, I love it. I literally merged the farmers and the cows together and they're standing on bones that I cut out with the newspaper. Good afternoon, artists. Hello. Hi, Simone. I'm here for my studio visit and I start over here. Hello, Lola. Hi, Simone. Can you read to me the headline that you've picked? Absolutely. My headline is Inferior Arms Hobble Rebels in Libya War. And so how are you going to use that headline? I have some drawings based kind of upon some of the pictures that go along with the story. Yes. And um, I was trying to re-editorialize the piece by writing in my own information. And how will you integrate the newspaper? Well, I was trying to carve the weapons into these newspapers. 
And so this was going to be a grenade, and then maybe I was going to do various other things. I've learned with you, Lola, to always wait for the show, because very often you get your act together right at the end. So this time you seem much more advanced than I've ever seen you. So I think you should go for it. Okay. Surprisingly, he seems to be interested, which makes me immediately terrified. Thank you so much. Bye. Hey, Sarah Kay. You are the only artist that's never been in a quit. <laughs> you are always sticking to the middle right ground. in the middle. I'd like to actually be in the top, of course, wouldn't yes. everybody? So, yeah. Tell me, which headline did you pick? I picked Darkness Invisible, what it was like to live with depression and paranoia. Is your regular work quite dark? Um, you know, a lot of it is very intricate, so it does take, you know, common or everyday objects and kind of disassembles them. In that way, it might be a little bit darker. Yes. So what I'm thinking about doing here is actually cutting out as much of the white space on this as possible, and then taking this text, cutting it out, and condensing it so it became this kind of dark space, and then this kind of trail of light colors. I think what I see here could be quite interesting. Okay. So you think you'll make it into the crit? I would like to make it into the top part of the top crit. Top part, yes. <laughs> thank you, thank Not you. Enough. I'd like to wow the judges. I am here to grow, and if I can't get that feedback, it's really hard, you know, to take the next step. So, I was thinking less about the story and more about this headline, how the spectacle of worship in organized religion and media has increased. So, I created this big frame and painted it silver, and then I want to have these gold doors. I'm gonna attach some knobs, and I'm gonna have some text over it. I think it could look quite dramatic, the piece. That's what I'm thinking. I'm just not sure if I can articulate the concept as well. Well, so that's something I, I would do... really think over, because I feel this could have tremendous wall power. Okay. So I hope that you will not diminish that impact by adding too much stuff to it. Good. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Bye Appreciate day. it. Suck Lord. Hello, sir. Which headline did you choose? BP agrees to pay one billion for a start of golf restoration. What I'm trying to really do is just use the paper as a frame, and then this is going to be a little painting of a coastal village soaked in oil, and the oil is going to be, like, dripping out. What have the judges been asking to see from you? They want me to stop borrowing and stealing from Star Wars so much. They don't want to see literal translations of things. Well, I mean, you've taken the headline that uh, intrigued you, and then you've recreated the page nearly telkel. So for me, that is pretty literal. I mean, uh, it couldn't be more literal than that. Well, that's encouraging. Uh... <laughs> Sorry, maybe you can transform it into something looking impressive. Uh, but... There's that word again, transformational. I'm not transforming it. I don't know what that means. I was just doing what I thought was the right thing to do, and then he says that to me, and it's like, ah, oh, I can't do this. Oh, God. Coming up on Work of Art. It won't go anywhere. Oh, it's gonna crack this plaster. Mercy. What did I do? Hey, Young. How are you doing? I had a bit of a late start on my project. Really? Tell yes. me, what headline did you pick? Uh, Ai Weiwei and his recent charges from the Chinese government. And what I'm working on right now is kind of my own headline, where is Ai Weiwei? Mm -hmm. My plan is to black out as many uh, front pages as I can and then paint in white the, my headline. I'm basically separating them into multiple stacks around the gallery. No, I think it's... the subject matter is great. Yeah. Now the question is how it'll translate in your artwork. Right. Yeah. And it could look quite dramatic. So I encourage you to continue yeah, on that you. track. Thank you so much. All right, thanks, Juan. <coughs> Young's piece is pretty bad, actually. You know, it doesn't really look like much. It's not abstract. It does sort of says one thing and one thing only. But if that works for you, well, then touche, my friend. Hello, Kimia. Wow, what are you doing here? For my headline, said, like, there's a serial killer and police are searching for the body parts. It's going to be built to contain all of the newspaper and have all the newspaper create, like, striations on the yes. side. Yes. And then put body parts kind of sticking out. Like Quite an ambitious piece. I know. I don't know why I went so crazy. And why were you attracted to the dark stuff automatically? Because I've been through a lot of dark stuff in my life. It's just where my, my mind automatically probably goes because it's what I know best. Okay. Yeah. Well, 
As you still have quite some way to go, I so know. I'll let you concentrate on Thank your task. Thank you, Simone. I'll see you tomorrow. Otis, oh, I have an important announcement to make. Dusty and Bayete, you are going to move tonight into the penthouse at the Dillon. <laughs> Don't forget the $20,000, and I really look forward to seeing you all tomorrow at the show. <laughs> Good luck. Thank you, Simone. Thanks, Simone. See you Bye. later. Don't forget the $20,000. Oops, that just slipped my mind. <laughs> Why doesn't he like what you're doing, Suck? He thought it was very literal, and that's been a problem for me. I'm gonna see if I can change my headline, and if I can change it, maybe I can do something different. Does anybody give a shit if we change our headline? No, I don't, I don't care, care, man. Fine. Then it's like you get to pick whatever you want now, and you have like hours to I'm pick. just trying not to get eliminated. Everybody says no problem, except Michelle. That's like changing the rules. Mm, that's just, that's so incredibly petty and lame. But I gotta stick with this, because I still haven't figured out how to incorporate the newspaper into it, and I'm just like lost in the weeds. I'm gonna stick with what I got. project going? It's good. I, I feel calm. I think because I had the worst experience the other day. Like crying yeah. in front of Sarah Jessica Park. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I just kept thinking about like where I was when I was 10. I had this sort of emotional breakdown, the children's challenge. I'm a cancer and cancers are very emotional. So I'm like, all right, Sarah, what am I gonna learn from this? I really wanna be able to find the resources and strength in myself to be able to win. Does plaster get lighter after it dries? Not much. <laughs> I should have been able to catch on that it was gonna be 5,000 pounds. My headline is about having to prove an injury to insurance companies. I have these white lilies that are placed behind the body parts, sort of as like a symbol of regrowth. This process feels like I am beginning to accept my injuries, and this is the first baby step in that. What about this thing? Is this ugly? Yeah, I hate it. It's so ugly. It's just like not clever Robert Rauschenberg. All right, I'll stick with my headline, but I'm ditching this project. Thank you. Lola's helped to sort of pull me back to a place of reason. I'm gonna just make fake money and pour oil on it, yeah. I just spent five hours on <laughs> ripping off an artist I don't even like. <laughs> Obviously, I really like the Suck Lord, and his insecurity makes him more appealing in a way. So, I don't want the Suck Lord to go home. My hands are killing me. Someone will be $20,000 richer tomorrow. That's amazing. It's ridiculous. My piece is about an artist descent into madness. People are coming by thinking that I'm completely insane to cut up all of these little different shapes. But no, I am not going crazy yet. <laughs> <laughs> He's like a photography guy. All of a sudden, he's working with these doors, and he seems to be working a little bit out of his comfort zone. My letters weren't working out in terms of size and shape. Do this upside down? What the hell? But I realized I painted the wrong side of one of the doors. We have maybe about an hour in the morning, so I'm really concerned about being able to repaint them. We're moving in. Dusty. Right. Suckadelic, I'm with you. <laughs> Go ahead, make us up at home. Well, you and me, young. It's getting weird, man. All these people leaving. I know. It is. There's only nine of us now. I know. Twenty thousand dollars is at stake. Well, funny. I keep thinking about my mom has been battling uh, cancer for the past few years, and the medical bills are very high. Being the only child, I want to kind of help her enjoy the time that she has. That's a third of the group that we started yeah. out with. And then when we start walking around, you're like, who's missing? Yeah, yeah. I still get that feeling, too. It feels too. like there's so few of us. Oh, oh, oh. All right, everybody, pull it together. Even though I'm starting with a text that's kind of legible, I'm purposefully making it illegible. Sarah got this really intricate cutout piece, and I'm just kind of like, what the hell am I looking at? It doesn't even make sense. Ah. Ah, how the f is this 
still wet. Uh. Baite, how are you hanging this? Huh? How are you hanging this? When I first saw Baite working on his doors, I thought he was heading in a really cool direction. So I keep messing it up because I think it's dry and then I touch it. But this morning, it looks shoddily put together. Oh, God. <laughs> That's great. Yeah. I think this thing is pretty cool. If you can get it downstairs, I think you won. Shut your face. How do you feel about yours? Mm, I don't know. What do you think? I'm trying to incorporate the judge's criticisms. I don't know how to present it, though. Where the f does the newspaper fit in? Yeah, make paper bands to go around them, but just make them out of newspaper. That's my opinion. Right, okay, thank you. Yeah. Kimi, it helps me with what I'm doing, but I have to explain why the money is on the bills like that. So I come up with this idea that, oh, well, it's because the Times is guilty of letting BP off the hook, so they're tied up in this thing, and I don't believe any of that. But it's like, I don't know what else to say. I have to have some reason for it. God, this sucks. The suck lord's having a rough day. We'll try to cheer him Are you up. cheering up the suck lord? Yeah. It's kind of amazing what it does, just like painting them all black. Yeah, completely. It's a little out of the norm for me to make this kind of depressing piece about the economy, but I like my idea, and I would like that money. My wife would probably get pregnant again and start growing our family. It's so sad. Hey, is anyone willing to help me right now lift my piece? Oh. Oh. It's gonna crack this plaster. Mercy. What did I do? The coffin is so bonkers heavy. It's like two tons of still wet plaster. Push the thing. Try Dusty and Sucklord are like the pallbearers, and this is becoming like an actual funeral. Oh my god, thank you guys! <laughs> Let's go have a beer, Dusty. Gee. Ten minutes, everyone! Wow, if I go through there, there'll be heaven on the other side, right? No. Okay. I've got my drawings, and I've got my newspaper-covered tools, but I'm not in love with either of them. I feel like maybe I should have just spent all of the time on one thing. So I'm feeling vaguely terrified. Artists, your time is up. Come with me to your galley show. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay, okay, okay. Coming up on Work of Art. What does it seem to be arguing? He's just yeah. throwing me. This is utterly predictable. I think it's really sophisticated. <laughs> Sarah Kay, she has like kind of this loud, boisterous laugh. Like this. <laughs> I think she just grew up having a really loud voice. It's impressive. <laughs> Something like that, I guess. I laugh because things are funny, you know? There's no reason to, like, try to control my laughter. You know, that, that would be weird, I think. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Please welcome back your judges. Critic Jerry Salt. Hi, Jerry. Hi, Jerry. Gallery owner Bill Powers. Hey, guys. Hi. And your guest judge this week, celebrated contemporary artist Adam McEwen. Come on. Hi. Adam McEwen makes conceptual art by writing obituaries for people that were still alive, and his media-based work looks a lot like newspapers. I think he's just incredible. We asked each of you to create a piece inspired by a headline in the New York Times and use the newspaper as one of your materials. The winning artist will receive $20,000 furnished by Blue Canvas Magazine. And the work will be displayed at the New York Times headquarters. Let's open up the gallery and see how you did. Good luck. This is so interesting. I think the visual impact's gonna go over well. It's staring you right in the face and you can't ignore it, so I like that. There are silhouettes of people. Bingo, there's one, there's, a, the, oh yeah. Wow, it's quite beautiful. I see the judges moving in close to study the bones that I made out of the newspaper. 
It touches upon various elements that happened after this tsunami in Japan. I like that the bones are also the water. Your piece looks so good. Thanks, Michelle. I, I, I hadn't looked at it before. I'm also really impressed with Lola's piece. I'm Lola's like, piece is she killing she it. Do it? <laughs> My piece is a drawing of a combination of three photographs used to illustrate the article. It's about this instinct to fight, even when we know that the tools we have are so inadequate. <laughs> well, I think it's pretty interesting the way she engaged the story. What I'm trying to do with this piece is raise awareness about the fact that Ai Weiwei is missing and to keep reiterating it. I think it really is about, you know, how do you keep this story in the headlines? Why are the bills wrapped in the newspaper? This is not really my best piece, but I'm hoping at least the judges are gonna realize that I'm trying to get out of my comfort zone. I'm confused. What does it seem to be arguing? I'm not sure. Everybody's constantly asking, like, oh, where did you get those scars? Or like, right. why do you walk with a limp? She was injured terribly in some sort of accident. It's pretty accomplished. It's very nice to be able to tell my story in this way. I'm very happy with it. Someone buried the lead on this, huh? <laughs> I've never made a piece like this before. I've never made a giant coffin. But I think it's just really powerful how it's commenting on the way that the serial killer has treated other people's lives. Instead of it being an illustration of the headline that I chose, my piece is sort of an embodiment of madness. I wonder if that will come across to the judges. Is this the date up there? Really hard to read. Okay. Knock, knock. Who's there? Buy a tag. <laughs> Where's the newspaper? That's what these little things are. The interesting thing about art is sometimes the whackness of it can make people really intrigued. Like, it's so awful, they're just like, it's so bad. Is it good? <laughs> Thank you for a very newsworthy show. We would like to speak to the following artists for the crit. The Suck Lord. Young, Sarah Cabot, Dusty, Lola, and Bayate. If I didn't call your name, you are safe and can say goodnight to your peers. Young, you had one of our favorite pieces in the show. Let's start with you. Ai Weiwei is a very internationally recognized living artist who's based in China, and because of his outspokenness, he was arrested, and he's basically disappeared since then. Ai Weiwei is an important artist. There's very few people that are willing to go to jail or perhaps die for their ideas. In that way, it's inspirational. And your piece, in a real simple, brutally direct way, puts that on as today's news and suggests that you shouldn't forget it just because it's bundled up like yesterday's news. Right. Way to go. Thanks. Thank you, Young. The next artist who had a piece that was one of our favorites is Dusty. My headline was a darkening mood across America. And uh, after going to the Times, I knew I wanted to make something large scale using only paper. And I wanted to kind of stay true to the integrity of the materials that we're using for this project. I found it immediately graphically arresting. Bam, something sort of depressing is going on here. For me, it's the abstract shapes of the people that makes it work. Because when I first saw that, I didn't see the people. It took me like two or three minutes to see the silhouettes. And I think that's probably a good thing. Thanks. Thank you very much, Dusty. Thank you. The third artist up for the win tonight is... Lola. Let's start your crit. Oh, goodness. The headline I was inspired by was about rebels in Libya who were carrying around all of these weapons that were incredibly old and completely unusable. 
There were three different images, and I was interested in trying to editorialize the image through using text. The drawing, I think, is great. Like where it says um, arthritis on the hand. <laughs> that seems to me a, a leap of imagination. I think it's really sophisticated. I never really looked at the rest of the stuff, which kind of got in my way. But boy, have you opened up a way of looking at photographs that you really should go into and make this your own. It's massive. Thank you very much, Lola. You can join Young and Dusty. One of you will be the winner of this challenge and receive $20,000. Congratulations. Young. You made a true work of art. Young strikes again, it's like a punch in the stomach. You will receive $20,000 furnished by Blue Canvas Magazine and have your work displayed at the New York Times building. Young, we loved how you took a small story and made it into a major headline, and then you made that really matter. Thank you so much. I'm so excited. I've just won $20,000. My mom's been wanting to go to Korea this year, and she doesn't have the money to do that, so now I'll be able to do that for her. Thank you. have the least successful work in tonight's show, and one of you will be going home. Sucklord, let's start with you. There was a little article about how BP has finally kicked down a little bit of money to start rebuilding the damage that the oil spill caused. What I did was attempted to take what I thought were the raw elements of what the story was really about, this uh, disastrous result of greed and corruption and the newspaper's complicity in that. I just think this is utterly predictable and it plays into every easy conspiracy people have ever had about the media. The problem for me is it was saying oil is bad, money is bad, the New York Times is bad, everything's kind of bad. It switched off pretty quickly for me. So you banned the, the bills with the Times. You're saying the guy with the band around the money is the guy in control of the money. I think what I was more saying is that I felt the Times was sort of guilty in, in uh, not yeah, but the, the point is, we're all reading it in a totally different way than the way you want it to be read. Thank you very much, Sucklord. Sarah, let's talk about your piece. The article was actually a book review, reviewing an autobiography of a famous author's daughter, chronicling her father's descent into madness. This girl living with her depressed, right. mad, mm -hmm. famous literary father right. seems like a very rich subject it matter is, to yeah. draw from. Mm -hmm. This really just looks like an arbitrary cutout to me okay. on the floor. I mean, you know, for me, it wasn't necessary that a viewer would actually know all of that about the work, but that they would try to notice, you know, the visual qualities and engage them to kind of read deeper into the work. I love that little bit on the wall. That's a really strong starting Thank you. off point. Thank you. But I couldn't figure that out, and I wasn't interested really in trying to figure that out. Okay. I mean, I looked at the text and I tried to, to work out what that text was about and it's sort of backwards, and, but I find it very, very inaccessible. I, I see what you're saying about that. Mm -hmm. In the end, we lose the story and sadly, the artist. Thank you. The third artist up for elimination tonight is Bayate. Let's talk to you. The headline that inspired this piece was actually a theater review of Sister Act Two, the musical. And what it got me thinking about was the ornamentation and the glitz and glamour associated with making um, organized religion accessible to the masses. And I'm wondering how that's represented here. Well, you know, I have to acknowledge it's not represented very well. The most energy in this comes from the words themselves, that headline, and then the way you put the letters on, which is like bang, bang, do it quick. That looks like fun, and, and then it just stops. It almost looks like you stop thinking about it once you pick the headline. I didn't really feel like there was a direct connection to the newspaper. It felt kind of just postage stamped on there. Why are the doorknobs on different heights? Well, because I painted the wrong side of the door. You could have just flipped it upside down and painted the other side. 
We've lost the connection to newspaper, newspaper story, and no one on earth is ever going to know that it's about a theater review. Thank you very much, Bayate. Please head up to the studio and we will call you back shortly. Thank you. I need a drink. <laughs> so this is my third bottom crit. I'm like a war veteran over here. How did you feel now you've gone through, the, gone through it? I mean, I just want to live to fight another day, you know? How did they go wrong with such an open assignment? They got lost, and their work got lost, and it just got, it went from lost to bad to boring. So this was Sarah's first crit. Pretty disappointing. I found Sarah a bit scattered. The ideas didn't connect up with their object, and then the object disconnected from the challenge. It could have been any headline. If she told me this was about X, Y, and Z, and this is what I made, I don't know that I would feel any more connected to it than I do now. For a piece about dirty money, Sucklord's sculpture felt too clean to me. Mm -hmm. And it was almost like an advertorial for Save the Golf. The story that the sculpture was proposing was clearly not the story he was giving. I was like, I know this is not what you meant. It's painful. Then there was Bayate. At uh, first sight, it seemed to have um, some energy. And then the more one knew about it, the less actually was there. There was a lack of commitment to the subject matter, to the piece. And when he was standing there and talking about it, suddenly it's like, wait, it's painted this way kind of for this reason, and it's upside down not really for any reason. And you're just left with these silly doors. OK, well, we have our decision then. Yes. OK, let's bring them back in. is what works, and none of your pieces did. Bayate, you took a headline that was so filled with possibilities, and the piece just really left us vacant. Sarah, you took a broad and personal subject matter like depression, and you gave us a disjointed piece that we couldn't connect to. Suck Lord, never has dirty money felt so neat and clean. For a sculpture about oil, big money corruption, there was absolutely no payoff. Sarah, Bayate, Sucklord, one of you will be leaving us tonight. Sarah? You're safe. Bayate. Your work of art didn't work for us. It's time for you to go. It's been a pleasure. Hopefully our paths will cross again. Thank you, Bayate. No one wants to get eliminated, but my piece was such a bad piece. I mean, I would have felt weird with someone else getting eliminated if it wasn't me. All right, y'all. I'm out. <laughs> Sorry to hear, bro. I'm on my third strike, and it's painfully obvious the only reason why I'm still here is that there's always been at least one person that made a piece that was worse than mine. Young, you it's a pleasure. This experience has been extraordinarily intense. Bye. A lot of people are going to see me represent my work in this way, and this isn't what I'm really about. That's why I'm like, damn, you know? All my people out there, man, I'm sorry I went out like this. But I redeemed myself. Next on Work of Art. We want you to leave your mark on the city with a piece of street art. <laughs> is it no spray can for me? Are either of you guys using the scanners? I was like, you're actually ignoring me? Like, how old are we here? <laughs> <laughs> you build this great thing, and then just something dumb happens and wipes it out. I think that it's silly surrealism. It came off to me like bland wallpaper that did not match the furniture. I'm sorry I hurt her feelings. Really? Go to bravotv.com slash work of art for info on how to own a print from your favorite